All right, so this is Bridge Tower West. You've got Bogus Basin straight out this way. You can kind of see the mountains out that way, just over the top. Uh, this is pointing due north, due east, south, so south facing backyard, and due west. Uh, one unique fit factor for Bridge Tower West, um, road will be going into some agriculture here, so not a lot of passerby traffic, is that uh, you've got pavers throughout the whole neighborhood, which looks really cool when you're not during construction, everything's cleaned up. Uh, you've also got a ton of open space at the end of the street as we drive out. You'll see there's a huge field there for soccer, playground, all that stuff. Uh, give you some context, we have a house in contract two houses over from yours uh, in the mid 600s. So being this one's at uh, six or five seventy nine. It's a good price point to be at uh, given what we're seeing next door nearby it. So Let's go ahead and check out the house. It's a Riverwood built home beautiful stone uh, Fascias on the front. You've got the third bay third garage bay, which is great great for resale uh, You've got a single level with a bonus loft. So very desirable floor plan style little front yard Nice entryway area. Oh, a lot of detail with some of the window panes on the door. And you walk in, got some beautiful trade ceilings. And off the left in the front of the house, you've got two bedrooms and a full bath. So here's one of the bedrooms, got some built-in shelving here. Nice natural light, a transom window at top. Good size storage for closet space. Come through, tile flooring in the bath. You've got granite or quartz countertop with soft closed drawers throughout the house. Which is just a nice value add. Window, normal pop and fiberglass shower and tile there. Then you've got storage linens obviously they're not done yet so there will be a ton of touch-up work cleanup and finish work to be done uh, bedroom sizes are on the spec sheet i can send them over to you for reference and as we come in you got some inset areas for art decor and then the main kitchen area main living area Dark cabinetry, matching stone tops. Again, everything is soft clothes in the house. That's where your gas cooktop will go. You got your microwave, refrigerator gallery series, appliances, your pantry. Undermount stainless steel sink. And nice fixtures coming down. The lot size is, is decent. You're just a hair over 7,100 square foot in total. You got a lot of natural light coming through. So patio area covered with light. And then you'll see the property will go basically adjacent to the neighboring fence line here. So about just past that stone is where your back property line will go. Not too bad. You can see obviously when you have grass in, opens up the expanse field for the backyard. There's your fireplace, a modern style fan. The mudroom area, so entry from the garage. And you do have a three car garage. Of course, they'll clean all this up. Some board and batten, some hooks, tile flooring, storage space underneath the stairwell, which is a nice use of space. And in the garage, you've got your standard eight. It looks like nine foot door there. Probably about 20, 
24, 26 foot deep. I can verify that for you. Uh, you've got two car bay here, so nice roomy garage space. I'll take you on into the master. You've got laminate countertops right here in the laundry room. That's where your washer and dryer go. Uh, dryers are electric in Idaho. Come into the master bedroom. There's another tray ceiling, transom window over the bed area. Of course, they'll include landscaping and fencing, all said and done. Matching countertops, cabinetry, fixtures, soaker tub outlined in the got a nice tile floor and tile around the base. Walk in shower. It will have a door or a pony wall. Linen's closet. Actually, no, sorry. Restroom. And the closet here. Walk in closet. Access to crawl space. If you're not familiar, Idaho's got most of our homes built on a floating floor. So you've got about 18, 36 inches below the house for access uh, to any plumbing, gas lines, uh, etc. As we head up, you can see the bonus loft. It's a very popular attribute for any home. Helps maintain and increase value as everybody's looking for a little extra space. And it's not technically a bedroom because there's not a closet, but we've got a door for privacy. Great view of the northern side of the valley and literally just a hop, skip away, a couple roads over. You've got Costco shopping, dining, you've got Eagle, and Meridian is very close to pretty much everything. So, great location. That's the house. And they're looking at stuff today to make a decision. So, hopefully that helps out. Let me know if you have any questions. And looking forward to helping you guys find the right place.